and hello everybody hope you all keeping well um, what we're going to do today we're going to drive this class 101 from Huddersfield to Leeds um, I did mention in a previous uh, video that I would um, attempt to drive this uh, train um, it's not the easiest train to drive in train sim world uh, probably the most difficult um, certainly out of the uh, UK routes anyway um, I couldn't really vouch for any of the um, foreign routes because um, I'm purely interested in this era um, and particularly in UK uh, routes um, because I can familiarize myself more um, and, and you know I, I, I recognize um, the trains and um, the routes more than than I would a, a foreign route maybe in the future I may look at them but at the present time I'm just having a ball um, reliving my past in the BR blue days because BR blue is my all-time favorite and nothing will change that I know that for a fact um, so this isn't a tutorial um, but what I will do I'll, I'll show you a few things that I've learned because I am relatively new to train sim world so I'm no expert I'm still learning uh, in fact I've learning something new every day um, about trains in real life as as well as the train sim world really so uh, let's get it set up anyway so if we go to the back of the train in this case just uh, get our details back on so I can find my way around um, so here we have well let's just sit in the chair for a moment here we've got the uh, left marker and right la marker lights um, so we want to put them into tail uh, in, in red um, and that's all we need to do on this side of things let's get that door shut let's just have a check that those lights are on yes they're on I know they don't really look red but they are um, so <laughs> let's uh, let's get into the cab now and show you around a little bit and get things set up so um, first of all I just thought I'd show you a little tip now um, those of you who are long time players will will know this anyway but I didn't and, and I've only just learned this um, today really uh, so as you can see this is the door and um, there's I, I can't reopen the door um, so I, I was kind of like finding myself locked in here the only way I could get out was to open the passengers do passenger doors and go go through this way but then I couldn't close the passengers doors or all of them anyway so I found out how to do it basically you have to open the wind and the idea is in real life you'd put your hand outside and pull the handle so you come out like this close the window close the door and there you go so if that was um, a problem for anyone else that's what you need to do right okay so uh, let's take a seat so um, let's work our way from the right side so just underneath this chair is the AWS system <laughs> if it'll highlight it sometimes I'm playing on Xbox by the way and sometimes the sensitivity on my controls make it difficult uh, to select some of these items sometimes so let's get that switched on and let's deactivate it um, right so as I said this isn't a tutorial but um, I'll, I'll show us around anyway so when you first come in the cab um, to get things set up you need to get the master key in or in this case the control circuit key on now this here is the brake um, it's currently in the lap position so that's holding the train in the stop position this is the reverser so we need to get that into forward and uh, this here is the uh, gears 
so it's a bit like driving a car basically um, so you've got to use your gears and your throttle so you've got to take your throttle off when you're putting it into gear um, and then you can reapply the throttle uh, here we have the um, indicator to show you the position um, your acceleration basically um, and when you need to change into your next gear um, that will become more noticeable as we go on here we've got the panel light now you will need the panel light on because in this route we do have some tunnels and you really need to be able to see these dials so that you know what you're doing um, this is the throttle or most importantly this is the horn now what I've started doing I've started operating the horn I've connected a um, keyboard I'm not actually playing the game with a keyboard um, but I've connected the keyboard for some of the, the shortcuts because the horn is is here um, and that is with the letter N and the spacebar um, so it just makes some of the functions more easier because I don't think there's a shortcut on the um, on the controller so you would have to operate it manually and it's not as easy when you're doing everything else really so it's just easier just to um, use those shortcuts so what else have we got here uh, we got our destination light on I put that on before and we need to set these marker lights to the white position so that they're on um, and that's about it there you also have the handle up here to set your destination and I've got it set for leads already okay and um, this is <laughs> gonna be a challenge as I say this is not the easiest train to actually drive um, but once you do get a hang of it um, it does get easier um, you know the more you develop your muscle memory and operating the the train um, to make it easier for you to see today I've actually turned off my hood that I usually I have the full hood on normally in the bottom right hand corner of the screen but I've turned that off so that you've got a better view of all of these controls as I'm driving it um, so I'm driving with a relatively minimal hood having to rely on that small hood on the top left hand corner there so that you're able to see more so without further ado so we're just getting our passages on now we can lock the doors let's get our into first get the gears into first and we can now release the brake and we can start applying some throttle so we've got 15 mile an hour restriction at the moment up to 40 any moment okay, so we can now take the throttle back up and as we can see we need to change gears so take the throttle off go into second now we can go into bring the throttle back up And just as the needle passes the yellow there, we take the throttle off again, change into third. Needles drop to the bottom markers, so we can bring it back up again with the throttle. And our first stop is in at one and a half miles at Dayton, I think it's pronounced. We need to change gear again, so take the throttle off, put it into gear.
this is a uh, we're on as, as I said uh, Huddersfield to lead so we're on the Trans Pennine route which I think is perfect training ground for learning on how to use the class 101 because there's quite a lot of frequent stops take the throttle off now and we'll apply some brake so as you could hear then I was applying brake um, but I've returned it back to the lap position so that I'm not using all of it but it still keeps decelerating I like to approach stations at around about 25 miles an hour as I'm coming into the platform and it's just around this corner the first couple of stations from what I can remember quite short Right, so I've opened the doors, that was uh, on the seat of my pants, that stop. <laughs> Let's just get the people on. But there's no one there and there's no one getting off, so might as well get my gears into first, ready to go. It's saying unlock doors, I thought I'd unlock them. so many things to try and concentrate on. Right, lock the doors. Okay, so we're in first. Let's release, le release the brake and let's get going. So the needle's going up into the yellow and out of the yellow, so down with the throttle. Into gear. Back in with the throttle. change again. Let's get our brake into the lap position and we're off. Yeah, so the Trans Pennine route is a really, I think it's the best place to learn on how to use the Class 101 because uh, it, you've got these uh, hills, descents and ascents, and um, it just really tests you on braking more than anything else. I, I think that's the most difficult part of, of uh, driving this, is the, uh, is the braking for some reason. It is for me, I mean, each person's different. Um, you might find, you know, going through the gears more difficult which is a bit does take a bit of getting used to to begin with um, but I tended to get used to that look I need to change gear right we're in fourth now oh I'm with speeding I mustn't have seen the um
I didn't see the speed limit. Too high. This this Trans Pennine route, uh, it's one of my favourites. To be honest, it's very close. I mean, my favourite is uh, Blackpool Branches. So. This comes a close second, or almost on a par. here that's a bit too cautiously <laughs> but I, right, I can just see the platform and again this is a short platform so we're going downhill if you notice. Yeah, I normally come into the platform around 20, 25 miles an hour, but as this is a short platform, Quite a challenge video to make because I'm trying to talk at the same time as trying to focus on so many things that I need to keep in mind. Let's get the doors locked. But the other thing is, as well, um, I normally well have been playing with uh, the bottom right hand hood on which does make things a lot easier um, so I'm, I'm really sort of pushing myself to the limits here because I'm just working with a minimal hood uh, which is the one on the top top left there. So we got 80 miles an hour speed limit. We're still going downhill so I need to bear that in mind. And our next station is just over a mile and I need to change gear again. My god! Why did I commit myself to trying to make this video? mile away so maybe we should just coast from here let's 
get a break in the lap position. I should. I, I think you're supposed to put it straight into the lap position. We're actually going uphill now, so that might help us a little bit. Slow it down! <laughs> Slow down! <laughs> Crikey! It looks like there's another class 101 in the station. And we finally stopped. Passengers off. Now obviously nobody trusts me as a driver because <laughs> nobody's got on. Nobody's got off. I don't blame them. Because I don't think I trust myself. Let's get our gears in first. Now, are my doors open or what? Yeah. Right. So lock the doors. Let's get going. Let's get the brake off. Let's get the throttle going. And let's change gear. So this class 101 comes with uh, Transpennine route, as that we're on at the moment, and it comes with the Tees Valley route and also with the new Preston to Carlisle. So you don't have to buy this separately. With those particular maps. And uh, I've deliberately been trying to master this train by playing it on this map so I can get ready. for the Preston to Carlisle route. This this map is one of the the older maps, uh, and I, I think it still holds up really well. Um, and as I say, it's 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 got a lot going for it as well. There's a lot of scenery. track is quite varied in terms of its declines and ascents. Coming in a little 
little bit too slow again really but I'm trying to not make a hash of the video so we're already a couple of minutes late oh getting on and off. I don't think we're going to be able to make up time here, are we? Lock the doors. Let's get the brake off. And let's go. Change gear. So our next stop is Batley. Yeah, so I've, I've, I definitely think that this is where I, I seem to have <coughs> learned more about this, driving this particular train on this route. The thing is, is to persevere with it, because when I first watched somebody else on YouTube, need to stop again already. Bloody hell. See this is what makes it even more difficult is uh, not knowing the route well enough. Um, as you'll know train drivers um, know their routes inside out. They know where all their um, speed limits are. Now, when I'm not recording, I normally, it's up to you when you want to believe me that, but when I'm not recording, I'm, I felt I, I was pretty good at, at this, but while recording it, it's a bit shambolic. Where is the station? tend to drop to about 12 or 13 mid station got one person who is waiting for the train but doesn't want to get on my train 
as I said, because they obviously don't trust me as a driver, which I can quite understand. Lock the door. Are we in first? We are now. Right, let's get the brake off and off we go. So our next stop is in three miles. Maybe I might get a chance to actually chat here. Because every time I start talking about something, I, um, I'm engaged in having to concentrate on all of my controls on the HUD. Let's change gear again. Yeah, so all those BR Blue fans out there uh, are all excited about this uh, Preston to Carlisle over Sharp route. And it's definitely going to be brilliant when Just Trains brought out Blackpool branches. Uh, everybody was raving about it and still do and it tends to be many a person's favourite. It's probably not popular obviously with people who are more into modern day trains which is understandable. Um, I believe the Class 101 is has had some refinements made to it for the Preston Carlisle route, but to be quite honest, um, I don't r really see how they could really make any more improvements to it, to be honest, because it already looks really well. I, I think it's very well modelled, uh, this train. I can't remember if I already said, but um, if you're on this route, make sure you obviously put on your panel lights, otherwise you're going to end up being a little bit screwed on knowing where you are with your settings. Let's just have a look at how many more stations we've got. So we've got Morley coming up. And then we got lead, so let's see if we can make it to Leeds without making a hash of this. These tunnels uh, are really perceptive. Uh, you just never seem to be reaching the end of it. station is just outside this tunnel to be honest. Which doesn't seem to be getting any closer, even though we're only just 300 yards away from it. I can just see the platform. And we're on a bit of a 
decline here, so I need to... Okay. Get the doors open. We've got people waiting, but still too nervous to get on a train driven by Dave. There's nobody on the train either. I'm starting to get a bit offended now. I'm not that bad, surely. <laughs> Cracky. Let's get it in first. Let's get the doors locked. And let's get the brake off and let's get going. Change gear. So we got three and a half miles. Yeah, so apparently there's been some remodeling. I, I, I think it's more to do with the in, interior, really, um, the seating and that. I, but it, it still looks pretty good. I, maybe I've misread things because I, I, I find it hard to believe why it really needs to have any improvements. We need to change gear. I mean, what's also helpful is, you know, hearing the drone of the engine. Oh, God, we've gone over speed slightly. I don't think it really matters too much. Well, it does, of course, like, but... So we're going downhill again. See what I mean? You, you've, got, you've got to keep your eye on the ball. <coughs> You've got to keep your eye on the ball all the time. See how it's crept up to 50 already. Um, 47, 46 cents to decrease a bit now, so just recharge the brake. Yeah, I, I just love this cab. I mean, you know, it, it just feels so old, doesn't it, you know? I mean, look, look at the, this polished, this polished chrome here on this handle. I mean, you know, you're not gonna break any of these controls, are you? It's it's just robust. does look very old fashioned but obviously very reliable Ooh, we're gonna speed again in a second here right two miles to go let's have a look outside is it safe enough to have a look outside That's when I normally get caught out. Look at that, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Don't know what gear we're in, oh, we're in fourth. I think I might need to knock it down a gear. I 
wondering whether I'd left a bit of brake on there. So we've got a 25 mile an hour speed limit, um, so we're coming into Leeds now. Coming up. Which is in half a mile, so I need to start applying some of this brake. going downhill again so need to bring a gear down a bit so what have we got coming towards us is it a class class 40 Seven. Normally I get excited with the uh, AI traffic that passes, but um, I'm trying to focus on managing to get into leads without screwing this up Sorry, I'm not showing you the controls, am I? So we need to drop to 10 now. slightly uphill this feels awfully slow now doesn't it nowhere near as slow as it does on the uh, Somerset route if any of you have played that, that is mind numbingly awful because a lot of it is 5, 10 miles an hour. The maximum speed is 20 miles an hour overall. It is horrendously, it's like torture. Let's have a quick look outside. Look at that. You know, considering this is one of the older versions of the game, it still holds up pretty well. I know some of the scenery can be a little bit questionable at times but let's get that in the lap position it's supposed to be in the lap position all the time don't 
tell anyone. Finally, we've kind of made it. I must admit, it did take a couple of record. I sh I'm speaking too soon. Let's stop first. <laughs> Is that class 37 over there? No, 45, I think. We've made it folks we made it we made it there and it um, apart from a, a, a couple of small little um, speeding little speeding in a couple of areas um, <laughs> I'm quite pleased that um, we actually uh, made it I think personally I, I feel I, I did reasonably well considering I played without the hood um, needed to speak to you at the same time as well as focus and concentrate on all the ascents and descents and the stops uh, <clears throat> it uh, becomes quite demanding really um, but my excuse is, is that I am still very new to train sim world um, but yeah this is my recommendation for um, the new um, Preston to Carlisle route to um, use th this particular route for, for your um, uh, training ground if you like to, to get used to using it because there's frequent stops as well and it just gets you used to stopping and starting the train much more regularly like um, uh, compared to the likes of the Blackpool branches routes so there's not many stops that allows you to have enough practice, I don't think. Um, so I feel this is the best place to grasp it. And um, and you'll notice improvements. Well, I have. I noticed improvements to my ability to drive it by just doing at least one journey each day um, and, and, and not overstress yourself with it, really. As I, I'm, I'm guessing that some of you can just pick it up straight away anyway it's no problem but it takes me quite some time to find the muscle memory to um, be able to not have to think too much about what I'm doing um, to enable me to focus more on you know getting used to the, the stopping areas on, on the platforms and when the platforms are uh, approaching so anyway i hope you enjoyed that um i didn't <laughs> no i did um but um i feel relieved now that i've completed it um but maybe i'll do some more um, journeys with this um as i get more used to it myself as well and um see if there are any more tips but thanks for watching um hope you're enjoying train sim world or if you haven't got train sim world i highly recommend it especially um especially if you uh, you know a uk route um br blue fan um there's plenty to um find uh, in train sim world that that caters for those interests anyway um please do come back um like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you again. Take care now and goodbye.